Hey, what's going on, guy? Tony here. Welcome to CCXRC. Today I've got my SCX 10.3 on the bench because I want to do a little upgrade to it. The little pan hard mounting bracket for the track bar. It's kind of a weak point on these. It's not terrible, but why not make it stronger, especially when Bauhaus has this really cool pan hard reinforcement bracket right here. Get it for under 20 bucks. It's aluminum and uh, it's going to add some rigidity and some strength to that break point and uh, allow us to keep beating up on this thing like we like to do because these are really awesome trucks and they can take a pounding. So let's get to it. All right, so this should be pretty straightforward, guys. We do need to take off this front wheel here first. I'm gonna go ahead and get that off and then uh, that'll allow us to get at this shock and the pan hard mount pretty easily. I'm guessing this is an under 10 minute fix right here. So, I'm gonna take the body off so you can see a little bit better in here. But basically, right in here is the part that we're gonna be working on. Right here, this little plastic piece where it screws into is our area. So, we're gonna remove this shock, remove the bar, and then we're gonna put the enforcement part in here. It slides over this plastic, and then it's gonna go into this front end right here. And remove our pan hard. Set up, boom. We're in, easy enough. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna ditch this screw because it's not gonna be long enough. To give you guys a better view, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this as well. It doesn't need to be removed, but it'll make it a little bit easier to view. All right. And then we're going to get the, the bracket that they have here, and we're going to put it in. Here you can see the bracket piece where it'll thread into, and it is uh, tapped here, so it will screw in. You can see the little dog bone from their logo there. I've gone ahead and I've taken off the steering links up front in order to show you guys uh, how this all fits. You can see this little triangle piece here in the upper brace uh, will match with the triangle on the brace and it'll just push right over the top here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of squeeze this on here. Get it on there nice and tight. Make sure it snaps in. There it went. So you could use something to protect that a little bit. I just went at it with the uh, needle nose pliers. It's a really snug fit. All right, so you can see it mounted right up in here. I did use needle nose pliers to snug it on. You could use something else. Also, you could put something on there to protect the, the anodizing. Um, I just went bare at it. Uh, so now they give you two included screws, which you'll use to cinch it on. Uh, the first one is just going to go right through this main support and into the bracket. I'm going to go ahead and put some thread lock on that one. It's not going through plastic. I probably could have put thread lock into the other, uh, into the bracket before I put it on so it would be in the threads, but I did not. It's going to also thread into to plastic, so it should be all right. There it is, cinched it down. And now the last part is going to be to reattach the pan hard and then just kind of put it all back together. Not a big deal. Get this track bar on here. Just getting this to line up is the tricky part. Hold it in place, that was the way to do it right there. There it is. Now we're going to go ahead and reassemble our lower link and shock. That went. Now we, just... now we just put our wheel back on and this thing is all done. A little bit more strength up front. It can take a little bit more abuse. 
which if you watch this channel at all, you know that happens. <laughs> we crash a lot. Although I've gotten quite a bit better with the crawlers. I don't go for as risky of things. This one hasn't taken quite the abuse that some of my older ones have. Um, but they still do crash and tumble at times. But it's been durable. Right there. That's the brace. So all that work was for. Wasn't that much work, but that's what the work we did was for. Right there. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode here on CCXRC. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. Bauhaus RC. It is called their SVT Panhard Reinforcement Bracket for the Axial SCX-10 III. So if you got one of these trucks, it's a good upgrade you can get for it. Anyway, check it out, guys. Check out all the stuff that Bauhaus has to offer. They've got a whole bunch on there. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing from them is a uh, the lower center of gravity LCG tray for the low C monster truck. Makes that battery tuck in a little bit lower. Gives you Velcro straps. Should be great. So that'll be coming guys. Anyway, thanks for tuning in as always. Have fun RCing. We'll catch you next time.